Good morning from the canal and it's absolutely gorgeous today. Autumnal, look blue sky, fantastic. So we are um, releasing the book, well we're releasing the Kickstarter campaign for Heal Scotland's book which is Scotland's Natural Medicine and this is part of our medicine. Getting cold, getting into nature, all the incredible um, chemicals, and that's maybe not the right word, the phytoncides that are given off the plants and the trees that help to boost our immune system. We are part of this phenomenal energy field and we've cut ourselves off with our clothes, our hats, our skin creams, our contacts, our sunglasses, our glasses, our ear pods, um, staying inside, cranking the central heating up. Now, don't get me wrong, There's a, these things are all great, but what we haven't understood is that, and even the, the soles in our shoes, the plastic soles in our shoes, have actually literally cut us off from the electrical field that comes from the planet. And we've done that unwittingly and unconsciously. We had no idea that we're a battery that needs to be connected to the mothership, which is this field, this quantum field, or uh, whatever you want to call it, God, um, the divine, the universal energy, it doesn't really matter, I think it's, for me it's all the same thing. So we are, when we shut off that energy in all the crazy ways that we do it uh, in our so-called developed world, we actually will experience disease. Hippocrates said, commit enough daily sins against nature and you will experience disease. Now, from a Heal Scotland perspective, this book is going to be bringing you everything that you can do for free to really feel a lot more vibrant, a lot more energy. I think, let's keep it really basic, would you like more energy? Yes, well, you need to recharge your battery and you do. You can do that for free. So in nature, quite simply, there's no simpler way to put it. Nature will help you recharge. Right now, I've got the phytoncides. I keep banging on about that because I do like that word. The phytoncides from the trees and the plants. I am grounded. I've got my bare feet in the canal directly charging through the meridians that start in the feet and move all the way up through the body. Um, I'm getting cold, I've got my heart and my lungs under, so I'm allowing my body to change temperature. I've do already done my breathing, so I'm resetting and recalibrating, I'm tapping in and letting go of all the rubbish that I've been carrying. I've got a bit to go yet. So, phenomenal amount of wonderful things happening this morning. Also, the light. I posted a an article this morning about how everybody in Scotland's lacking in vitamin D and they're saying we have 400 hours less sunshine in Scotland than they do in London, which is pretty significant. But light, it's not just sunlight, it's just actual light comes in through the eyes. I mean, this is the process that we're interfering with without e even realising. Affects the pineal gland. The pineal gland is magical, which is your transmission to see into different dimensions and different worlds. Our vagus nerve, which is actually communicating with every single organ, it's the Latin word for wander. It wanders into your head, your brain, your eyes, your facial expressions, all into your internal organs, into your gut. You might be holding some stuff in your gut right now. Oh, the, the natural light breathing, getting cold, is really impacting and soothing and you are reconnected to the magic that we are. And watch Wim Hof's new podcast about his book. Our book is coming out. We're going to ask you to buy it in advance so that we can get it printed and get it really done properly. Um, a phenomenal team, Jane Wright, Claire Hollahan and Ailey Cameron. It's just the most magnificent project I think I've ever been involved in. Um, the knowledge that's going to come into you, easy for every single one of you, it doesn't matter whether it's not about running a marathon. You can sit in a wheelchair in the forest and get the benefits. Just, it is simple, simplistic. You think in communities, people never ran, never really ran marathons. Most people just work the land and that kept them healthy. I was in Uganda in Kosoro. Um, the women are there, they're carrying stuff in their head, but they don't go running, they don't go to a gym. They just are outside working the land and they live to well over their hundreds there. Um, so we need to take this incredible stuff that we know. We need to get back to what's important, which is our food chain. But way up there, 
way above food and exercise for health is community and altruism. Loneliness. We've got a freaking loneliness minister. Now, what's a minister going to... How is a minister going to stop you from being lonely? This comes back to our communities. Looking after each other, not snitching in each other. Having an open, an open, transparent conversation and helping and looking after the person next door so that we can impact on the mental health. Being part... Every tradition says that the 12-step programme, BNI networking programme, is give back... Lynn McTaggart's research shows us categorically community and altruism heals Get over yourself and start looking out into your community. Get out of this rabbit hole that we've all gone down of fear and me, me, me. <laughs> and let's get out there and look around us and reconnect to our true nature. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Ciao.